quick and easy pepper steak recipe. If you're looking for a quick weeknight dinner, then this pepper steak is the recipe for you. Super easy and absolutely delicious. But before we jump into the recipe, let me show you how to season your curry base skillet. First, you're going to add some soap on your skillet and then you're just going to scrub your skillet on both sides. This is to ensure that you're getting anything that is not needed off your skillet. After scrubbing your skillet on both sides, just rinse it off with nice cool water. Then you're just going to dry it off. Don't use paper towel because then you're going to use too much, so just use a kitchen towel. Then we're going to add some vegetable shortening on the pot. This is the best way to season your skillet. Rub your vegetable shortening all over the pot on both sides, on the handles and everywhere. After you've rubbed on your vegetable oil everywhere, use a paper towel to just wipe off the excess oil and just rub everything in. Put your oven on the highest temperature for an hour and that's how you season your skillet. Now jumping right into the recipe, we have our pepper steaks. We're going to rinse that off in just some water. Then we're going to add green seasoning, jerk seasoning, black pepper, complete seasoning. All the seasonings that I speak of will be listed on Caribe's website and it will be listed in the description bar below. That is just some mushroom sauce. Mushroom sauce is amazing instead of soy sauce. Mushroom sauce gives it a nice flavor. Now is the time to just work that seasoning in. Definitely take at least 10 minutes rubbing in your seasoning well so that each piece of steak is coated. Set it aside and marinate overnight for at least 30 minutes to an hour. Now we're just working on our vegetables. So we're going to chop up some onions for this recipe. Then after you chop up your onions into nice round pieces, even slices, then you're going to chop up green bell pepper, red bell pepper, orange bell pepper, and some yellow bell pepper. After you've chopped up all your peppers, then you're just going to chop up your scallion, some scotch bonnet pepper. This is definitely optional, but totally recommended. It gives it a nice flavor and it's absolutely delicious. For less heat, leave out the seeds. Don't be like us, we love pepper. Don't forget your thyme and dice up some garlic. Garlic is definitely needed in any meat recipe. To your seasoned skillet, add some oil and when the oil is hot, then you're just going to add in your steak. Add in your steak and cook them for at least 10 minutes, stirring them throughout the whole process of the 10 minutes.
After 10 minutes, then you're just going to transfer your steak to a bowl or a plate. And please don't forget to add the juices that were released from the steak onto the steak and set it aside. Using a paper towel, you're just going to wipe out any excess gravy that was left over and add back some oil. Now it's time to saute your vegetables. Add in your onions, sweet peppers, bell peppers, scallions, garlic, and your, your thyme and scotch bonnet pepper. Then you're just going to stir it and saute until they're fragrant and slightly translucent. You don't want to cook it out fully because you want it to have that crunchy Season your vegetables because we're trying to develop flavor on top of flavor. So when you season your vegetables, each and every bite will have a burst of flavor. After your vegetables have cooked, then you're just going to add in your steak and all that delicious gravy and just mix it and combine. Make sure to get each and every drop off that plate because you don't want to leave any gravy behind. Adding red pepper flakes is totally optional because that will definitely be extra spicy. So if you're not a fan of spicy, leave out the red pepper flake. I know your steak is definitely cooked, so we're just going to add in the last ingredient which is some ketchup. After adding in your ketchup, you're just going to mix it well and combine. And that is basically it. Super simple, super easy recipe. Pepper steak. Delicious. And everything you need will be linked in the description bar below. Hope you guys enjoyed this delicious a steak recipe don't forget to like comment and subscribe turn on your notification bells and we'll see you guys in the next video